Are you holding on to something that you think is giving you some protection and some comfort, but you really need to let go of? We're going to talk about that in this video coming up. Hi friends, I'm Paul Gibbs with Just Got Music Ministries, using music and more to help you in your Christian walk. Well, you know, it's a common question. That are we holding on to something that maybe we should be letting go of? Yeah. But in this case, I've got something specific in mind that I would like to talk to you about. It was uh, brought to my attention, and I think a little divine guidance there, just recently that, uh, you know, we hold on to something that we think is protecting us, giving us comfort, and maybe we're even hiding in it a little bit. And, and I think that something could be described as a darkness, uh, maybe a sadness, uh, depression even, or maybe all of the above and more. And I think for some of us, those things become a, almost a part of us. And we just can't imagine, as much as we may say that we'd love to be rid of that. You know, I'll be happy when. I'd love to be happy again. As much as we may say that, I wonder. If we really were honest, do we really want to let go of that darkness, that sadness, that depression? Doesn't make any sense, does it? And yet, I think there are some people that, and maybe I'm talking to you, that hang on to it. Because it's become so much a part of you that you can't imagine being without it. And the phrase that I think of is, let in the light. Let in the light. Let go of the darkness and let the light come in. And I'm talking to somebody out there and you need to let go of your darkness. You really do. Call it sadness. Call it depression. You may say again that you, that you wish it could be gone and yet you're hanging on to it. My prayer for you, if that's you, is that you would ask God, because we can't do this on our own, my friends, that you would ask God to help you to let the light in. That's the only way that we're going to heal, my friends. It's the only way that we're going to heal to get rid of that sadness, that depression, that darkness is to let in the light. Now, I'm, I'm on our back deck today. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. Um, it's the, the, the view uh, that I'm looking at beyond the camera is, is uh, trees, houses, hills, and a beautiful blue sky. And yet, some of us wouldn't see that. There was a time when I could not see that. It was there, but I couldn't see it. And God's been speaking to me lately. Paul, let the light in. And when he speaks to me, <laughs> you get to listen. <laughs> and I want, to, I want to share that with you. Friends, let the light in. That darkness, that depression, that sadness, you may subconsciously be almost treating it as a protective blanket that you hold around yourself. But friend, it's not. It's a trap. It's, it's a cage. Let's put it that way. It's a cage. And it's holding you in. It's holding you back. My prayer and my hope for you today is that with God's help, you will be able to throw off that black blanket that you've got around yourself and let the light of the Lord come in. And that today will be a start of a brighter future, a brighter day today, and a brighter future for you. 
Until next time, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'm Paul Gibbs. God bless you.